So let's do a quick review of our superficial back. We started with a simple skin dissection, give everybody experience to see what that was like. Then we reflected the superficial fascia down to the deep fascia and the muscle plane. And then we simply removed the other six panels so that we could expose the two superficial muscles that you're going to see first as migratory muscles of the back, which is going to be trapezius, which we're going to see in here. And then latissimus dorsi, which we see below, down to the thoracolumbar fascia. And we had the superior panel. Rather than actually cutting a panel, we'll just reflect that forward. Now, if we zoom in on the auscultation or triangle of auscultation region, this kind of outlines where all three of the muscles are. Now you can see the trapezius fibers running up, bordering one area of the triangle. Then you come down to the latissimus dorsi fibers, and then you're going to come up through the um, rhomboid major fibers. This area clinically is going to be where you'll place your stethoscope to listen to the lungs during uh, auscultation. Now we're going to reflect these two superficial muscles, and then we'll see the intermediates in below them. As we've done the uh, cutting to reflect them. We'll start by reflecting back the trapezius, which is attached to the spinous processes. And it's been cut away from the spine of the scapula as well. As you reflect it up, we can zoom in and find the neurovascular bundles up in this area up here. And we'll zoom right on into that area. Great, right there, you can see right here is our spinal accessory nerve coming from cranial nerve 11. And then right beside it, we can see the transverse cervical branches. This is usually the superficial branch. And it will be supplying along the length of the trapezius as well. Now you can see here the latissimus dorsi, which is coming out towards the lateral aspect to head towards the humerus right over here. And if we get Mr. Big Hands to reflect it backwards, over in this area, you can see the spine of the scapula coming down to the inferior angle. And we'll come right over top of the cadaver in towards this dark area right in here. There's the latissimus dorsi fibers. And right there, you can see the neurovascular units. That's going to be the thoracodorsal nerve and the thoracodorsal artery and vein right in that area. Those will be supplying the latissimus dorsi. It's going to be a powerful adductor as well as a medial rotator. OK, here we have the nerve artery, and some of the venous tissues right in here. So we'll pan back out, and then we can take a look at some of the intermediate muscles of the superficial back. Remember, all of these muscles are innervated by branch dorsal rami um, for the skin over top, but the muscles themselves are innervated by the ventral rami, except for the trapezius, which is getting a cranial nerve. Now what we can do is we'll come into this area right here where we can see all the medial border muscles of the scapula. Here's the medial border down to the inferior angle. And in this area, we see the rhomboid major. Up in the top here, above the spine of the scapula's root, we'll see rhomboid minor. And then right up into this area, heading towards the base of the skull, is where we're going to see the levator scapula. We'll zoom right in on that now so we can really separate out the fibers. As we come in, there we go, right there. We'll pan down a little bit. And here, right in there, look at that nice, beautiful levator scapula coming off of the superior angle of the scapula, noted right here. Here we can see the root of the spine of the scapula coming out to the spine itself. And then here, on this aspect of it, is the rhomboid minor. Back in here is all rhomboid major, all the way down to the inferior angle that we can see at this point. Now we can reflect those muscles back. And I've uh, cut away the rhomboid major and minor. They can be reflected laterally. And then we'll be able to see the neurovascular unit that's supplying those on the medial border. As we pull away that scapular inferior angle, right out as far as we can go, now you can see in this space here the serratus anterior right there. That's all serratus anterior. And muscle with its little serration seen right here is going to be moving against the thoracic cage down here to have scapulothoracic mobilities. And those will be important for getting above 90 degrees. The 
two muscles that will work together here are the serratus anterior and the fibers of trapezius. And if we pan out a little bit and head back to those medial border muscles right along the edge right there and come right up into this spot here, this is going to show us where the neurovascular bundles are for the rhomboids and all of these other medial border muscles like levator scapula. And we'll keep coming right on in here. Good. We can see some nice venous tissues in this area. Here we can see the nerve. That's going to be the dorsal scapular nerve running right along the edges of these muscles coming from C5. And then we can see the artery and the venous tissues supplying them as well. well that gives us a quick overview of the superficial back. In the next section, as we pull out, you'll start to see some of these deep back muscles running out towards the ribs. And those are the ones that will be the topic of our next dissection, deep back.